Hi, I'm Kavina and uh, I've just won a film award, which is completely crazy. But yeah, my film is called The Stone Man and it is based on a story that I made up, um, but the actual Stone Man is real. So um, this Stone Man is a very bizarre creature that lies on Denge Marsh Beach just outside of Dungeness Power Station. And uh, I was introduced or heard about the Stone Man when I participated in a workshop, in a film workshop, which led to this film. And then uh, Ed, who is um, leading Jam South, Jam on the Marsh, sorry, <laughs> he said to me, well, um, there are some other bits and pieces that you could talk about. Um, I really like this concrete man or Stone Man, as I called him. And I want to tell a story about where he's come from, uh, why he's on that beach, and I didn't even know where he was. So I had two missions to complete. Uh, number one, I had to find the stone man. And number two is I had to find the story behind him. And uh, I was thinking, I don't worry too much about mission number two because once I'm there, once I'm with him, I'm gonna lie with him. I know that sounds a bit crazy, but that's what I do. I'm gonna lie with him and he's gonna tell me his story. I will speak to him. And that's exactly what happened. So um, I saw him, I went a full circle around him, took loads of pictures of him. And then I thought, well, I'll ask him if he's okay with me lying with him. And uh, he was, so I did. So I just cuddled up behind him, put my hand around him, lean my head against him and then I just relaxed and thought where have you come from? What have you felt? And he told me. So then I got home and uh, for two weeks I sat down every single evening for three hours and I just wrote that story. I wanted to, uh, I love poetry so I thought um, I want to create some sort of fairy tale story but something that rhymes um, so I started with the, the sea witch character, I made her first and uh, with her I dressed her in different outfits, um, tried different costumes on her and I went to uh, Whitstable Beach as well to collect some of the crabs um, uh, that I also used to decorate her so I, made, I wanted her to look really scary and very cringy. After that I made the, uh, uh, the fisherman's daughter. Um, the fisherman's daughter is, um, is a very special character because um, her hair is actually my daughter's hair which I kept years ago when I gave my daughter her very first haircut and uh, because my daughter is also in the opening scene of the film I thought it would be a really nice way of kind of bringing this loop together that there is my daughter at the opening scene and then she kind of appears later um, in the film in the form of the of the fisherman's daughter. With these figures here, because they're under, the body underneath is made of wire so I can move them a little bit around, but um, the uh, stone man itself is completely rigid so instead of having one model and using it I made six or seven different models of the stone man in different in different shapes and forms and then just used them depending on the scene I was shooting. So I've been asked by many people, so how long did it take you to make all of this? Um, it took me 54 days and uh, I know this is a very bizarre number but uh, I keep a time log of when I'm doing what, how long it takes me and things. So yeah, 54 days. Um, it was actually mostly nights and uh, even though it would mean that I would not get any sleep and uh, that's why it, uh, yeah, it carried me through COVID. Um, and I'm so grateful that uh, I had the opportunity of, of doing it, of filming it, and even more grateful that people enjoy watching it. So thank you very much.